Welcome to this yin yoga class. Today's class is going to be focused around opening your shoulders and chest and thereby letting go of tension and negativity that you hold in this area. We will be working through different postures that will help you with that energetic release. We are going to start today in a child's pose. So bring your knees as wide as your mat, slowly rest your forehead on the ground and start to take deep breaths in and out. We will be holding every single posture for two minutes. After that time, you will hear a soft bell letting you know that it is time to come out. In this class, I want you to become very aware of what emotions arise during each posture. Is your ego trying to convince you to get out because it is uncomfortable? Try to allow yourself to surrender to whatever comes and then let it go. While we hold each posture, I will not be saying much to give you the opportunity to tune in with yourself even deeper. Take one more deep inhale here and slowly exhale out. Let go of your belly and your shoulders. Let go of everything that no longer serves you. At this point, you can slowly start setting an intention for this practice today. What is it that you want to let go of? And from here, slowly lift your head and walk your fingertips back, coming back into a seated position. Close down your knees and slowly come forward into an all fours position, starting with our cat cows right away. Inhale, drop the belly, look up, arch your back. Exhale, press the floor away, round out your back. And again, inhale, look up. Exhale, round your back, gaze is going down. Inhale, arch your back, slowly lift the chest. Exhale, round it out, press actively into the mat. One more time, inhale, arch your back. And exhale, come back to neutral. From here, you're going to ground through the right hand and lifting the left arm up towards the sky, coming into this beautiful soft twist. Deep breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly reach your left hand through underneath your right armpit, bringing your left shoulder to the ground. This is our first yin posture, so before relaxing deeply into this, please make sure that your legs are bent in a 90 degree angle and there's no extra pressure on your neck. And then from here you can slowly close your eyes, breathe naturally and just let go. Enjoy this process of releasing. Remember that whenever we hold postures for an extended amount of time, it is very normal that different emotions arise. Different thoughts will start popping up. Now the challenge in yin yoga is to slowly learn to quiet the mind and to learn to come back to your breath whenever a posture becomes too challenging to always come back to the present moment with that said let us find some stillness in this asana you will hear a soft bell after the two minutes are over letting you know that it is time to come out
From here, slowly press into your right hand and come back into your all fours position. Now before we do the other side, we're going to sway our tailbone from side to side, looking over our left shoulder and our right shoulder, finding some movement in our hips. And now extend your right arm towards the sky, rooting down through your left hand, coming into this soft twist again. Deep breath in. And exhale, slowly reach through your left armpit with your right hand, bringing your right shoulder to the ground. Again, make sure that your legs are bent in a 90 degree angle and there's no pressure in the neck. And then from here, close your eyes again and start to focus on your breath. Focus on all the energy that you'd like to let go of today. Slowly press into your left hand to lift yourself back up into an all fours position. Bring your knees as wide as your mat and press your body back into a child's pose. Bring your forehead on the ground again. And from here you can slowly start moving your forehead from left to right. Gently opening one shoulder and then the other one. On our next inhale, we're going to slowly round forward all the way until we lower our body down through Cobra. And from here, inhale, press up into another Cobra. Exhale, slowly wave your chest to the ground. Inhale. Come up into Cobra, exhale, lower down. One more time, inhale, press your body up into Cobra. Hold here for one second and then slowly lower down to the ground. From here, slowly grab one of your yoga blocks and place them right underneath your face. Extend your right arm forward and pivot your left arm through underneath your right shoulder. You can either stay here if you're feeling a deep enough stretch in your shoulder, or you can slowly reach your left arm towards your left side, crossing your arms underneath your body. And then place your forehead on your block, feeling this deep intense stretch in both of your shoulders we arrived in our third yin posture 
during these next two minutes, I want you to become the watcher of your thoughts. See them as clouds in the sky, simply moving through your mind. Do not become attached to them. Understand that they will come and that they will go. Understand that only you are always present. You are the watcher of your thoughts. You are the sky watching the clouds go by. It is time to release, slowly lift your head, remove the block in front of you. From here, extend your right arm towards your right, come up onto your left fingertips, bend into the left leg and slowly open your body up towards your left side, rolling over onto your right side of your body. Our next yin posture. You can either place your left hand in front of you or cross it across your body like I do. This is a very deep shoulder opener for your right shoulder, so you may feel different emotions and sensations arise during these two minutes. Understand that old emotions and thoughts can manifest themselves physically in different body parts. And once they do, they not only affect us emotionally, but also physically through pain and stiffness. So as you're staying here and breathing, understand that you are releasing more than your muscle. You are opening up this space to let go of this energy. Gently come out of the posture and roll back onto your belly. Place your forearms on the ground. Lift your head and take one deep breath in your swings pose. From here, place that block underneath your face and slowly leap your right arm through underneath your left shoulder. You can again stay here if you feel a deep enough stretch in your right shoulder or slowly bring your left arm through underneath your body reaching it towards your left side so again crossing both of your arms underneath your body place your forehead 
on your block and now let's find some stillness here again for two minutes in our next yin posture Slowly lift your head, place your forearms on the ground and come into your swings pose again. Lift your head up, take one deep inhale in, and one long exhale out. Remove the block in front of you, extend your left arm towards your left side. Come up onto your right fingertips, bend into the right knee and open your body up towards your right side. Now you can again place your right hand in front of you or behind your back like I do. Remember that different emotions are stored in different parts of our body so become the watcher of whatever emotion rise during these different yin yoga postures and when these emotions arise do not suppress them let them come to the surface feel them physically and then let them go. Slowly roll back onto your belly, press into your two palms, and slowly press yourself back up into an all force position. From here, grab both of your blocks and place them where your hands were. Now you can either place them high up like this, 
or lower. It really depends on how much of an opening you are looking for in this next yin posture. From here, you're going to place your elbows where your hands were, making sure that your knees are bent in a 90 degree angle, and then slowly bend into your arms and release your forehead to the floor. This is a very intense back bend and shoulder opener. So try and find a position that is challenging, but also comfortable. So if you need to place your blocks a little bit lower, please do so. This is the most challenging asana of our yin yoga practice today. So be gentle with yourself and allow anything that wants to rise to the surface to come up. Please understand that if at any point you feel pain in your body, simply come out of the posture. However, do not confuse pain with the tiredness of your muscle or an uncomfortable feeling. In this case, I want you to come back to your breath, come back to being present in your body and stay in this posture to release even deeper. To come out of this, slowly extend both of your arms forward, come back onto your hands, remove both blocks to the side, bring your knees as wide as your mat and press yourself back into our child's pose. On our next inhale, we're going to slowly round through an all fours position all the way forward and then lower down through cobra pose from here place your forearms underneath your body bend into the right knee and then reach your left hand through underneath your right arm grabbing hold of your right knee and then slowly twist your body open, reaching that right arm towards your right side, coming into this gentle twist. Our next yin posture. Now, this is again a very deep shoulder opener combined with a beautiful twist in our body. If your right shoulder is not touching the ground, but is hanging in the air, that is absolutely okay, as long as you feel an intense opening in that left shoulder. During the next two minutes, I want you to try and let go of your body with every single exhale. Actively try to release deeper into this twist every time you breathe out.
slowly untwist the body and come back onto your belly. From here, bend into the left leg this time. Reach your right arm through underneath your left shoulder. Grab hold of that left knee and gently twist open towards your left side. Let that left shoulder fall away from you. And let your gaze follow your left thumb. And from here, again, come back to your breath. Come back to what it is that you want to let go of. When we make the decision to let go, we have to realize that that takes a lot of courage because it is a lot harder to let something go than to continue to hold on to it. Whether that is a relationship, a job, or perhaps even your lifestyle. When we make that decision to move forward through a different path, we realize that we must let certain things go for our own physical and mental health. So ask yourself, what are you ready to release? What are you ready to let go of? From here, we are going to stay on our backs. So move to the middle of your mat again. Grab hold of your knees and pull them into the chest and start making gentle circles with your knees. That should feel really good on your lower back right now. Then grab hold of the inside of your knees and slowly rock up into a seated position. Now grab your blanket and one of your blocks and place them on the mat like I do. And then slowly place your bottom right at the end of your blanket and release your back slowly down onto your blanket and your head onto your block. Release the legs away from you. Bend your arms and let your forearms touch over your head and then slowly release them to either side. This is our final posture of this yoga class, our Shavasana. However, this time our upper body is slightly lifted to again release your shoulders to open your chest up towards the sky, to open your heart. And at this time, we are welcoming complete relaxation into our body, surrendering our entire body weight into the mat beneath us, surrendering it to Mother Earth. Take this opportunity to let go of your face, to allow your tongue to lay softly in your mouth. And with each exhale, allow the shoulders to release deeper into the floor. From here, let us find some moments in stillness together.
from here, slowly come back to your breathing. Let your breath wake up your entire body. And then start wiggling your fingers and your toes. Extend both of your arms over your head and really stretch your entire body out. And then bend into your knees and gently start rolling over onto your left side, making a little pillow with your hands. At this point, let us feel gratitude for our body and our health. And now, with eyes still closed, you can slowly make your way back up into a comfortable seated position. Place your hands on your thighs. Be very present in your body right now. Feel the sensations. Feel whatever came up during this practice. From here, inhale, bring your arms up over your head. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. One more time, just like that. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, slowly lower your palms in front of your heart. Bow down to yourself, thanking yourself for this beautiful practice. Namaste.